what city would you say really gave you the best chokehold on your style and just how to maneuver in the music industry? Atlanta. Atlanta, for sure. Because, I mean, there's just a lot of hustlers out there. It's actually an industry out there. And, you know, everybody's moving fast. It's kind of like a lot of New Yorkers that moved there and kind of like implemented that New York state of mind, that hustle out there. So it's like they kind of moving a mile a minute out there. Everybody kind of like hustle, hustle, hustle. I feel like L.A., L.A. has a lot of opportunities, but it's kind of like more relaxed. I feel like people in Atlanta kind of like trying to get their shit popping. So it's kind of like. They're moving at a faster pace. They ain't getting comfortable so easily. Nah, for sure. And, you know, there's always a next level. I feel like in the U.S., you know, everyone's kind of like in that industry to kind of like make it to a L.A. or make it to New York. So, you know, when you're in those other cities, it's always the next level. I feel like when you're at that last level, per se, you kind of get a little more relaxed. But there's never a last level for me. So... Nah, it, you always have to strive for something better. I feel like, especially in San Diego, that's why I actually moved out to L.A. Um, as far as people trying to aspire, whether it be fashion, uh, music, just like self-entrepreneurship, they would really get comfortable and complacent at goals that I would consider like minor. Yeah. So to put myself in a different mindset, I surrounded myself with people who were never like settled or happy or satisfied with what they had brought in that quarter because they needed quarter three to look three times as big as quarter two. Nah, facts. Um, who were some people out in Atlanta who like really put you on game and embraced you early on? Um, my big bro, Chilio, um, Trinidad James. But me and Trinidad was like cool even before he started doing music. So that's always been like one of like my solid friends in this shit. Like, I don't even look at him as like an industry friend, but if I had to like say somebody that's in the industry that I'm actually like real life friends with, Trinidad James definitely been like my day one nigga. Um, young Jack, surprisingly. Young Jack, man. Shout out to Jack, man. He definitely put me on a lot of games. How'd y'all get in contact? Um, I don't even know how we got linked up, but one night I was with my ex and I was we were like laid up in bed and I got a call at like, three in the morning from this DJ. And he was like, bro, I'm in the studio with Jack. Like he wants you to come through to the studio and do a verse for his project. And I'm like, <laughs> like Jack, for real? He like, yeah. I was like, shit, I'm on the way. Got up out of bed, went to the studio, did a song with him. Shit came out on his mixtape like the next week called Hella Dip. And um, yeah, like I went on, I went on the road with him one time and you know, it was through that experience that he was really putting me up on game with a lot of shit. Because, I mean, like, Young Jock was an artist that kind of, like, you know, plateaued. Like, he went he went to that level with his shit. Like, having a number one hit, being signed to Diddy, big label, big videos, big budgets, all that. So, yeah. he didn't seen it. You know, highs, lows, highs. You know, so he's he had a lot of insight for me. And I really appreciate him. As an OG, teaching me some game. Jazzy Faye is my dog. He definitely put me on a few game in, in the studio. Yeah, man, I fuck with like a lot of OGs in Atlanta. So it's like, I didn't been in a room with a lot of people that told me a lot of different little things here and there. I never had like somebody that just like totally ushered me into this shit. But you know, along my journey, people seeing the different moves that I was making and you know, me having morals and being a stand-up nigga, I feel like people kind of just threw me little tips here and there along the way. That should have go farther than anything. Your character, your integrity, like how you carry yourself. No, nah, for like, sure. If people feel comfortable around you, like as that relationship gets stronger, they'll feel comfortable doing business with you and really helping you develop as an individual as opposed to looking at some type of incentive to be fucking with you. You know what I mean? For sure. Nah, mentors are super important. It's cool that you found some really early on in your journey. 